I did imagine that I would do, that my first solo album would be something that involved Lebanese music, Lebanese folk music, which is what I grew up with. My grandfather was a, was a well-known singer in his town. He sang at church for over 35 years. And um, I grew up listening to him sing. And that's what's inspired me to, to sing. He kind of passed it down. So that's what I imagined I would do. I didn't expect to be doing a, a bel canto album. However, in the last couple of years, my career has kind of taken the bel canto path. And so it's completely logical and really, really exciting for me. <laughs> bel canto is, is all about line and legato, but not only technically speaking, the vowels are what carries the emotion. And so when you, when you take the emotion and you marry it to the musical phrase, and then you just go, then that's bel canto in its most exciting form. I certainly am thinking of her quite a bit. If I could go back, it would have been in the 1830s and early 40s when she was premiering these pieces to see what she was like, what she was like to work with and how she studied her music and what her voice sounded like and wondering if it's in any way similar to mine. Um, because I, I'm singing her repertoire, and so we have, we must have something in common in terms of the, you know, the mechanism of the, the way the throat works. But she obviously had a huge palette of colors that she could access, and whatever it was she did, there was always flexibility. There, there's coloratura, and there's ornamentation, and then there's long, hefty legato line. I think she was able to do anything. It would be a real dream come true for me to hear what she sounded like.